Uh, my name's David Landini and I'm here today at the Daniloquin Golf Club uh, with Shelley Schooler. We just had the Speak Up annual general meeting and Shelley has been so kind to give some time to just talk about Speak Up and, uh, and what it's done in the past and hopefully what it'll do in the future. So, uh, welcome Shelley. Thanks David, thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Shelley, what is Speak Up? Oh, well, Speak Up is a voice for real communities. That's right. um, our logo and I guess our motto. Um, but, so what we are about is education. Right. In, the, in a sense, we uh, get our heads around what's happening in the water space yep. and educate, uh, wanting to get the messages out there about the sort of the failures in water policy, how yep. they're failing communities, the environment, um, and it, basically social, economic, environmental outcomes. Yep. We feel that um, as a nation, and I know this is my particular passion, I think that's why we have the members that we do, is because um, I brought up, I was brought up uh, with the, you know, feeling that Australia was about being great, yep. about doing the absolute best you can. Whatever you yep. did, you did it the best that you can do. Yep. And I don't think we're doing the best that we can do with our water management right. and with water policy. So I guess we're about getting the messages out there, yep. um, using social media, using print media, using radio and television, yep. um, all forms of media to let others know that we haven't got our water policy right. We're, we're yep. not opposed to environmental water. That's yep. not what we're opposed to. Yep. We, we just want good policy decisions. Yep. And just in case people don't know, water is a, a huge uh, issue in this area. This is, we're in the middle of an irrigation area, the Murray Irrigation Area, but there's also the Murrumbidgee Irrigation Area, of course, and then uh, in Victoria we have the Goulburn Valley, I'm not sure what they call themselves yep. in there, but it's Golden the Goulburn Murray. Yep. Golden Murray. Yep. So it's a huge industry and the water policy yep. that, as you said, has been very poor to date, yep. uh, that has had a huge effect on the livelihoods of so most that's... obviously the farmers. Uh, but whatever happens to farmers, of course, the economic activity on farms flows right through to yep. everybody in the whole area. That, so, exactly so it's right. a huge, huge issue. It is. Uh, it's, a, it's a massive issue. And yep. um, we want balance as a nation about what we produce. We don't yep. want to be producing one or two types of crops. We want diversity in what we produce so that we can be um, sustainable for the long term. And we want um, our family farmers to be able to support themselves and to be able to hand down to the next generation. But yep. that's really important that we support our family farmers who uh, our rural uh, businesses are dependent on. Yeah, that's right. And Shelley, you mentioned earlier about education, and I know personally that the the amount of information that Speak Up has put out there, that a lot of people would not be aware of, except for Speak Up putting that information out there, uh, it's huge, yeah. and uh, and it's it's uh, it's factual, and it really educates people about how big this issue is and how much harm this poor water policy does to all the people in this area. Yeah, absolutely. So. We worked really hard to, to make sure we try and get, yep. uh, yeah, as you said, factual and we do research um, and make sure that we're a voice for what's happening to people on the ground. Yep. And just a little bit about the origin, Shelley. How did uh, this started? Yep. I think about five years ago, yep. did it? Yep. And, and you were, of course, the, the founding or the foundation, the, found the founders. Yep. yep. Um, so a little bit about the origin, shall okay. we? Just a no minute, well, little bit. Um, sort of this is the interesting story is I guess um, coming back to the farm um, in 2006 and in the middle of the millennium drought we'd been away um, living in Adelaide actually and moved back really? to the farm. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, and I guess it wasn't until 2010 that I was able to actually grow my own rice crop and I just distinctly remember the feeling that I had when that first bit of water ran onto the ground. I yep. was, that's this is it i've found what i've been put on earth to yep. do this is it yep. then moving a bit along from that it was 2015 and we uh, hardly got an allocation we had to pull our water together with the neighbor to grow some rice and i um, actually was pregnant and had a had a small baby so i was housebound for a while and i thought something's not right here we need to educate others about and people in the city that are making policy decisions about we can have environmental outcomes on farms yep. so that's where it sort of started and i just started a facebook page um, 
to, to educate people in the city because they use social media yep. um, about the benefits of water on farms because yep. it was all about getting water into national parks and you know public spaces and I want to educate people that farmers are not the bad guys. Yep. Um, so Vicky Meyer um, was the chair of West Berwickland at the time and I was her secretary and the West Berwickland uh, members were really behind us and then we decided to hire a media consultant really? to, um, to have a trial about getting the messages out there yep. in the print media as well and it just snowballed from there and people got behind us and um, we have been prepared to challenge politicians, we've been prepared yep. to challenge bureaucracy on their decisions yep. and um, and people have loved that and, yep. and followed us from there. Uh, and I can assure you it's been a really, it's been a great, uh, a great organisation uh, because I've seen a lot of the information, it's fantastic. And Shelley, there's been a number of uh, you've you've had a number of activities yeah. through the year, and uh, I'd like I just wonder if you could let me know some of your the memorable activities that you you really uh, that you're proud of. Oh look, I think the first thing that we really did that was big was. Um, we had an open water forum in Moama and that was, oh my gosh, it must have been the start of 2018 and by then I'd I'd found out a lot more about policy and what was yep. going wrong and all these sort of, and I made these contacts so I actually got some scientists to come and present, yep. I got some politicians to come and speak and we had a um, forum there and it, there was over 300 people like so this was really yes, quite and, exciting. and I was one of them I will add, it was, I was there, it was a great meeting. Shall it was a great it was meeting, really good. Yep, um, for sure. so then that you know sort of helped educate people yep. but hang on hang on, this isn't quite right and there's some wrong stuff happening at the lower lakes and all that yep. kind of stuff. Um, so one really exciting thing we did in 2018 is we got um, two car loads of us, it might have been three, we had about ten of us and we knew that Minco, which is Ministerial Council, was going to be at the Hyatt in Canberra. So oh, <laughs> we yeah, went right, down yes. there um, and we had shirts made and we snuck into breakfast in the Hyatt. We got caught um, <laughs> but we put our shirts on and um, we bumped into Lisa Neville on our way out as we were being escorted by security. Um, ACF got called. Australian uh, <laughs> Federal ACF, Police. Austra uh, Australian Federal, Federal Police, Police were wow. called, yes. Yep. Um, so I think that um, they, yeah, I, I might have a profile there. Um, so we were kicked out of the Canberra Hyatt. That, and that, that's, that's very memorable, Shelley. That is, we don't all do that, you no, know. That's, uh, and um, as pleased. we've been escorted out by the um, Australian Federal Police, Neil Andrew, who was the chair of the MDBA at the time, drove up to be dropped off to the Ministerial Council and he nearly died when he saw me <laughs> being escorted out. So that was really memorable and uh, I guess um, uh, the Melbourne rally which was at, in December 2018 when right. we had about three, 300 people again marching from um, the train station Spring Street in Melbourne all the way down Collins Street to the I think it was the height again in Melbourne, all that way along, yep. chanting no water, no food. And it was just, we had so many people in Melbourne stopping yep. and supporting us. And that was fantastic. But I guess the icing on the cake has to be the convoy to Canberra right. last year yep. in December, um, when we had over 120 trucks oh, in huge. Canberra yeah. um, and thousands of people. Oh, there's about approximately 4,000 people. It was and just it, huge. I thought about at least 200 trucks. There was, yeah. It was yeah, huge. It, yeah, was, it was, huge. was hard to estimate. But yeah. yeah, it was just the most amazing feeling. Um, and we, I think, the only group that the police have let go right up to the doors of Parliament House. And because we are actually nice people. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yep. It was a very impressive rally yep. and uh, the, the crowd did go right up to the front doors of Parliament House and that was pretty impressive in its own right, yep. I can assure you. Uh, Shelley and I always follow each other. I obviously follow Shelley around yep, because so, uh, yeah. that was a great, it was a great rally. Now Shelley, you've actually stood down as chairman of the uh, Speak Up campaign. You and, yep. you, you and Vicky were the founders, but you've, yep. you've stood down. Uh, which uh, that's a bit, we're all a bit sorry to see that, of yeah. course. But uh, Shelley, would you just like to say, as you stood down, just a few, whatever yeah. you'd like to say to a few of your, oh, look, your, just, your assistants? Yeah, oh, I, and I only feel comfortable stepping down because I know I'm leaving it in really good hands. Right. And I'm not, and I know it will go in the direction, the same direction that why it was started in the first place. Yeah. Um, 
and, and Lockie Marshall. Lock, the Lockie new, Marshall the new has chairman. taken on the yep. chairmanship, and um, I have every confidence in his ability. And I'm not going far. Look, I'll be around. It's but yeah, um, yeah just Shh. personal circumstances have yep. changed. And, and um, yeah, Shelley's not going very far. She's you're the executive officer of the Murray Regional Strategy Murray Group. Regional Strategy, strategy yeah. Group. So yeah, yeah. So we'll still be working together. Um, yep. uh, I just want to thank everyone out there, the grassroots. I just believe in regional communities yep. and they're just so important places for kids to grow up and I so value my childhood and that's because I grew up in a regional um, community and yep. you don't get communities as like you do oh, no, in, you in the Absolutely. regions in no, rural right. and, and yep. they are such an important part of our nation's identity. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank every supporter out there for believing in me than trusting me. That's a huge thing and a, a huge honour that yep. I've had for the last five years and thank you for being part of the journey and spurring me on every day. Um, there's been so many challenges and doubts throwing my way yep. but it's the people the, yeah. the, the you guys out there that follow us and send me messages of support that makes me keep going because I know I'm on the right direction yeah and look I'd just like to finish up Shelley look I think she, you've done a great job Thank you. Uh, absolutely fantastic <laughs> and your commitment to the community is exemplary thank you so uh, much you don't do it there's only one reason you do this and that's for the love Yep. and the care and what you feel for your community and that's Absolutely. the only reason and that is so great so <laughs> thank thanks very you. much Shelley no worries and David no we'll doubt we'll see you in the future you will I'm not going anywhere <laughs> thank you